Hello guys, it's me again riding with Sam here and I've always been wanting to make this video regarding the control over your bike and today is a good day to do it look at the sky all sunny and shit It's a very basic topic, but very important topic to talk about because in a car, you steer left to go left, you steer right to go right. On a motorcycle, it's a bit more complicated. Yes, you do turn left to go left in situation like this and turn right to go right in situation like this. As you can see there, it's a very basic stuff here. If you cannot do that, I mean you are you still deserve to be on the roads right but no there are a lot more stuff to do to learn on a motorcycle than what is what is originally known because of the way physics works around a motorbike if you're going to turn right to go right you're going to fuck yourself out big time on the road next time so today i'm going to teach you the basic of counter steering your motorcycle which is definitely the only way you should steer a motorcycle so basically I'm here to say that when the car is turning left your body and the car body tends to lean to the right and when vice versa for the right side right it, it's exactly the thing about motorcycles for motorcycles it's exactly the same thing so if you were to actually steer your motorcycle to the left your bike might actually lean right which can really cause you to go into which can really cause a lot of fuckery in your ridings in my place where I got my riding license in Singapore I was not taught to learn how to properly steer my motorcycles on the road and I actually learned it on YouTube myself so the thing about the school which I get my license from is they don't teach you the basics of counter steering instead yeah they don't teach you anything about steering your bicycle your motorcycle which is very important which I find it shocking that they left it out in their city bus in order to get your license I'm not too sure about the other schools but my schools yeah they don't teach you how to counter steer Now I'm heading to a car park that's big enough, of course, to teach you about counter steering. Here we are. If I can just keep it at neutral, see, I'm gonna push the bike, push, and it's steering. I'm not even looking, I'm just pushing the bike. So the, the thing about counter steering is you push in the direction where you want to go if you want to go left you push left if you want to go right you push right you can see right there oh well, this car park is actually pretty small <laughs> but yeah you get the basic point see hands off i push it it turns look at that i push it it turns it's a bit jerky because of the clutch here. I am not holding onto the clutch. It's not freewheeling, so the engine braking is getting into the turn. If you were to show you again, see neutral. I push it. I push it. I'm not pulling. I'm pushing it. See, it steers. If I'm trying to turn right and I turn right, I'm gonna go left. You see that? Same for the fact that if I'm trying to turn left and I turn left, I'm gonna go right. Ooh, that was close. So in situations like this, it's like when let's say you're trying to avoid the traffic in front of you, maybe doing some some guys are doing sudden braking and shit, and you want to avoid it, 
by going left side and you start steering left I'm telling you you're gonna go right into the vehicle because your bike will be turning right instead of going left so what I'm trying to tell you is don't ever try to steer where you want to go you're gonna end up in a real fucked up day that's something a lot of people don't get it that's something a lot of people don't get and they get into a real fucked up day because they panic and they try to you know, avoid situation but end up going head on with the situation if you are doing when you're steering on the road and you want the bike to move to the right you shouldn't be turning by turning right because when the fact that when you turn right here your bike will lean towards the left and will skid this will cause your bike to lean left and in turn turn left is when you are turning right same goes for the left side so that's what I want to bring across to new riders or any riders alike is to always use counter steering as the only way of steering your motorcycle I'm not if you are doing a turn like this you don't try to counter steer but if you are moving always try to use counter steer as a way to move your bike steer your bike I mean push the handlebars I'm gonna push it look at that I'm pushing it I'm not pulling it. I cannot pull right I'm just pushing it and it turns I'm not even looking at a road you know when they say you look where you are going <laughs> yeah it's true you look where you are going but if you're not steering properly you're gonna end up at the same place uh, the fucking wall or the fucking truck in front of you that you're trying to avoid desperately okay. I'm pushing it the moment I push it you can see it turn see that's how useful counter steering is in fact it's not only useful it's essential in steering a motorcycle I'm gonna get complaints now I'm gonna head off always use counter steering as a way to steer your motorcycle because it's the only way the motorcycle is gonna re react properly to what you are trying to tell the bike to do so I really want this to be known to the other riders outside especially beginner riders where they are just you know, starting out riding it's different you know to be able to it's different to ride in a circuit where the pace is so slow where turning of the handlebars will actually the handlebars will actually react to what you're trying to do when you turn right or when you go left but on the highway at, at a high speed it's not going to it's not it's not going to react to what you're trying to do because it's totally different in fact i don't i don't really turn my handlebars to 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 maneuver my back anymore unless it's a it's, it's a complete stop or it's a complete stop like this where i actually have to turn it but when it comes to just cruising around at a certain speed not even not at a certain speed i tend to just use counter steering as the only way to steer my motorcycle because it's the only safe way you can do it it's the only way the bike is going to react to what you're trying to tell the bike to do normal stock cruisers bike sports bike or any other bikes you know of it essentially works the same way you counter steer to turn your bike and that's the only way you should do it and that's the only way you should do it because i said so